I'm about to say something for this intro that I'm going to horribly regret after playing what I just played. So yeah, thank you for jinxing yourself, self. Wow, I popped out an episode in under 30 minutes. And with editing, it'll be less than 30 minutes. Anyways, um... We got a ruler's jungle ground or something. I have no idea. I wasn't really paying attention. I mean, you're not supposed to read anything on screen in an LP. It's kind of like a sanctioned thing. And if you don't follow that rule, then the uh, police will come get you and take you to jail, and they will not question you otherwise. So that chomp rock was there just to kill a hedgehog? I mean, whatever, it floats your boat, game, but I don't really think it was necessary. Okay, obviously this chomp rock is necessary for some type of thing. Yoshi only makes mud come down when it is convenient for his feet to do so, and it doesn't seem the chomp rock was actually used for anything. Unless... Come on, chomp rock, we got some adventures to explore. Wow, literally nothing. Unless... Again. I knew it. And that would have been frustrating to not know about. So, let's go on a flutter jump tour. And there's a cloud here. Free one up, not gonna complain. And for obvious reasons, whenever I say the word flutter jump, I keep thinking I'm gonna end up accidentally saying flutter shy. Thank you, internet. Anyways, um, we got stuff here. There's a pipe we can go through. And it brings us to another area. Let's say it just takes us back to where we were, but not really. Uh, what's the point of this side room? Oh. Uh, there is a flashing egg that wants me to go, hello, tap tap. Care to have an egg? You don't. You're allergic. Well, too darn bad, darn it. Now, what's in this pipe? This doesn't take us back, it takes us to a seemingly kill room to get a key and some stars. Good to know. And it takes us back here, and I have no idea where I can get some more eggs without going through a bunch of hassles. Alright, let's see if we can't not get this correctly. Because we have to get rid of him in order for that guy to be a non-trouble. Then we can go over him and go in this pipe, which will take us back to where we once were at one point before. At least, I'd assume it does, but apparently it doesn't. And I'm about to get eaten. I love getting eaten. By plants. It just reminds you of the whole thing about the cosmos. And now I'm wondering if this isn't a kill room. And I don't want to waste my melons for no reason, so let's go. So... we need eggs. Goodness. So now that we actually have eggs, we can get through this area with less trivia. After all, we're not playing Trivial Pursuit, so I don't see why there would be any trivia anyways. Don't know why that's there, honestly. I guess it just kind of floats in the water for a little bit and then it goes away eventually. Now we can come back in this pipe. And I honestly don't even remember what the original area even looked like, so I have no idea if we're in the original area now or not. All I know is that there are things in this world that are not meant to really be known. Nibble munchy plant, I'm going to eat you now. In the past, though. In case you were wondering, because the action had already occurred since I had done it on screen. But now, we have to jump on a Koopa Troopa to go up here and get some rewards. Amazing. And I do believe that is all for this area, so let's see what's in this pipe. This is an unintentional pipe maze. 
Now that you two are the same color, you can obviously are related. That's how it works in storybooks. And uh, good enough. You'll get turned into a star. There's a coin under there. Two coins under there. Can I go back? Yes, I can. Because I wanted to see if I missed out on anything else, possibly. And there's nothing over there, but, like, in previous areas where I could have explored but chose not to because I couldn't exactly figure out because there's so many freaking pipes in this level for no particular reason. There's a warp here and a kill room. And so far, so good. It would appear. I mean, I'm only making an educated guess here for whether or not something is what it appears to be. And now we can go on this pipe and then go back to where we were originally, so... Jump cut! Sure can cut those jumps. Anyways, door time. Let's see what the first door prize is. A spotlight. Yoshi, you're the star. Now, there appears to be another freaking stupid plant who feels the need to spit out cacti that he ate earlier. And there are a bunch of fish that Yoshi can eat, but not too well. Whoa. For some reason, I wasn't expecting a drop off here. I guess that's to be like, hey guy, there's stuff underneath this carousel that you can go see, and I don't know why these shy guys go places and you touch them. Is there anything in this area? Well, we got five more red coins to get. And... Pretty much that's all we gotta get. Doesn't look like there's anything else in this area, so let's continue. The level feels kind of long. So, we gotta go on the stilt guy. That's asking for quite a lot of precision, but I can do it, I believe. Yes, I can. Alright, Shy Guy, as your reward, I will not eat you, I will throw you into a cloud. Oh, you died? Well, sometimes stuff just happens like that. Now we can go through this little area. And we can find a tap tap and a plant. If we wait for the tap tap to go off screen, can we push him off screen entirely? Yes, we can. And two more red coins after this. And one more flower. And. We've missed out on some red coins and a flower. Well, I kind of figured I'd eventually have another episode where I would have to do this whole go back through the level and see what I missed things. So, I obviously missed something, but I don't know what. This level's kind of confusing, to be honest. Come on, bonus. Why don't I ever get bonuses? Less than perfect. I wonder if this is it. would appear to be the case. And I'd have just enough eggs to deal with these flowers. And that's one, two, and three. The things are missing. I had to use another freaking star item, so let's see if we can cheat the roulette. Oh, didn't have to cheat the roulette. It's gonna give me a bonus challenge anyway. Sweet! And beyond these two, I have no idea where, where everything else is. Oh well, it happens. Anyways, 88 to 100. And now we should continue into this little fortress here that we like to call a fortress of 38, the Audrey, the... Oh, Audrey! Well, I can see the, uh, the influence from a certain musical of... Sorry, I just want to make sure that nothing's off, because sometimes it happens. Oh, well, okay, you heard the sign. Well, you can't really let me leave. Is there something above the world? No? Okay. 
Well, anyways, uh, if you don't know, the Audrey is obviously a reference to Little Shop of Horrors. Okay, whoops. No, I don't want to talk to you again. I want to see if you're hiding anything above you. For some strange reason, I keep thinking that there's going to be stuff hidden in this room just because. Anyways, um... Audrey was the name of the main female lead love interest person in Little Shop of Horrors. There's a Lakitu in the water. A submarine Lakitu, as we like to call him. Nowhere. Nowhere, Kansas, where Courage and Muriel live. Who cares about Eustace? Anyways, there's obviously something in here, so let's go see what it is. More doors and a tofu. I'm guessing it's tofu. I like to call it tofu, even though I know it's probably not. Eh, let's go ahead and finish pushing it down. What's over there? The world will never know. I guess this is all just a big detour to let you know, hey, you might have screwed up some things along the way, so be sure to make sure that you get the trapper jump height so you can go back through this thing and then jump on Lakitu again so you can go back in the area that you just missed out on. Lakitu, your aim is terrible. I'm over here. Come on. Really. And now that I know how not to ruin my dreams, let's flutter! And get a flower. And I do believe that is it for this section. Because we can't go anywhere else. So let's leave Lakitu to throwing an egg at the wall and see what that's over here. Maybe. Well, uh. Man, there's a lot of choices in this land of eggs and plants. I'm always wondering if there's stuff around these areas where there's water, because water's not see-through. I guess it's paint. It's probably blue paint. That's why Yoshi's blue. I don't know. <clears throat> oh, look, a flower. I honestly didn't know that was there. The, sh the, the tap tap despawned. Interesting. Well, let's go see where this takes us. It takes us back to the area where we once were before. So there's going to be an area with a purple piranha plant that'll give us a key, apparently. Well, let's see if we can't control our path through this. Let's see what's down here. Because I haven't explored this area yet. This is the area with the purple piranha plant. And there's a bunch of Ralphiel the Ravens. And another piranha area thing. I mean, there's two purple piranhas, so... Apparently, if you just wait near the purple piranhas, there will be a key somewhere. There's a door here. There's a door over here, which is harder to get to. Let's go in this door. There's stars. A tap tap of the pink variety. And this is the case where we need a door. Key. Yes. Uh, what's in this direction? Something tells me there's gonna be a box somewhere. Yes, there is. I think that's going to actually be a path to come back from. Because the water does not want us to go any higher. And we would be going in that door right there, where this plant is determined to keep us from going. Well, you can't win them all. And now I have no idea how we're supposed to get back up. Um, so are you telling us that we're being forced to kill that guy if we can't flutter jump because for some reason if Yoshi has any momentum other than momentum of himself when he jumps, he won't flutter jump automatically when you press the jump button, so... 
I guess that's the most difficult thing in the world to do. Gotta go in this door now, because I don't even want to bother trying to farm for eggs. I hate farming for eggs. And we're more mysterious than ever as to what to do here. I'm not looking forward to editing this. So, let's go see what happens if we veer left. Okay, that's what happens if we veer left. As far as stats go, we have a lot of flowers. Let's go on one of these doors, see what's inside. I guess this is the area with the plant that's going to give us the key. Lucky me. I can read directions. Now, uh, what about that other door that is next to that one? I gotta find out, man. Must find out, Lakitu! What's in this door? Plants. And two red coins. Okay, we're getting more red coins, so that's good, but we only have four? Goodness. It's still nothing compared to what we have in flowers. So let's go back down here and go this way and see what is being um, held for us. This is the worst! What's in this door? Two shining eggs. So... Actually, can I not break it on this? No, I can't. This game is so inconsistent with its stuff, really. It really is. I doubt I can break it on Lakitu, so let's just keep it with us. For some reason I want to think that there's something in this area, but I don't know what. Apparently Raphael the Ravens are not able to be converted into, um, eggs. So we want to go in this door, so we can go in another door. Here's is Alan, all about the doors. Tap tap and dead fish. What more do you want in a level? And this takes us to this crate, which lets us eventually go into this door. It's not far enough. Ugh. Hate. Hatred everywhere. Not a kill room. You'd think it would be. There's gotta be something in here. Anything else besides those two somethings? Because there's still a lot of red coins that I'm missing out on. Okay, so is this the final destination? Oh, great. Alright, come on, spit out enemies. You know, got all day here. This is working just exactly as planned. Oh, God. This is why you shouldn't design areas like this, it's annoying. It's not practical for the most part, and then things don't go the way that you expect them to when you're the player. And even though I have made him as small as possible, he's still going to give me trouble. Now, what's in this area? It's giving us an egg. There's a plant here. Get rid of that. Four. 
The way these walls are textured, they look like they're supposed to be 3D, but at the same time, they look like they're flat, so I don't know. It's an optical illusion of sorts. Since it's not really three-dimensional because it's a 2D game with 2D sprites, but at the same time, the way that it's shaded makes it look like it's popping out at you, kind of. Or it makes it look like it's closer to the foreground, in a sense. So, what is in this little area? A flower. So we almost have all the flowers, but we're missing out on a lot of red coins. Which is discerning. Oh, you were hiding a tap tap. You sneaky, sneaky ravens. Now, I think the real question here is why is there a random tile in the wall there that we could, looks like we could stand on, but I know we can't. And this isn't annoying at all. God, I don't understand why the game does not let you auto flutter jump out of a jump from water. Like, really. Yoshi. It's not like you have wings. That tip tap tap was moonwalking. So there's a pipe here, technically. With two more flashing eggs. And another thing of stars. Whoops. Hey, guess what never happened? Um, there we go. That's what I meant to do. Now, what about this area? What is over here, first of all? Okay, there's all the flowers. For some reason, we're not making the sound that the helicopter normally makes. Assuming that that's because of the uh, sewer tile set. And we've lost all our eggs. That's cool. So we need to go through here without getting a hit. That's going to be more difficult than ever, I am afraid. So if I'm careful, I can get eaten and turn into regular Yoshi for like a fraction of a second. But it's not really noticeable. Any of these red coins doesn't look like it so far. This is okay. So you're seriously expecting me to be able to do this all in one go? That's cool. I guess. I mean, in theory, I could use the pow block item that I got in the last uh, roulette thing that we did, where I actually got the flower instead of a dot. But like. And naturally, we're going to have issues with this. Almost ate to the end that time, so... Can I make it? No, of course not. Ugh. Man, this is so much fun! It's nearly as bad as it could have been, but still... Not necessarily my ideal choice for flying section, but I suppose it gets the job done. So we're still missing out on eight red coins, and I have absolutely nothing to deal with you with, so I guess I'm going to cut to the part where I actually get rid of this guy. I don't really think it's too interesting to watch me farm for enemies and kill him, so I mean... Somehow that worked out. Although I have a feeling he's hiding stuff under him, so... Only one way to find out. Yeah, that's obviously not the case. under here. Just two. Okay, we're still missing out on six. 
I'm just afraid of missing out on stuff and not knowing where it is. Especially in a level like this. And this is the end of the level. Well, I'm missing out on six red coins. I can't wait to go find those again, but I'm probably not going to do it right now. Probably do it in the next video, just because. And since I have no eggs, and I'm going to have to redo this anyways... Oh, wow. You can't... You can't even get the Easter egg on this. Alright, in the original game, you could hit the plant guy before he got all big like that. And you could end this boss really quickly, but no, this guy wanted to make it so you have to fight the boss. Thanks, Yoshi fan. I hope those fish go away for good, because that would just make this a lot more tedious than it needs to be. Hey guys, we can scale sprites. I already have an idea where those missing coins are. They're probably in some area I didn't explore well enough. Also, you're serious. You're serious. Those fish are going to stay around. Remind me again why you thought this was a good idea? Wait to 100% this. So in the original boss fight, you were supposed to just make the eggs float across the water, but since these fish are in the way, that's not going to be a possibility. So you're gonna have to wait until like the opportune moment to throw an egg at him to where you can actually hit him. Looks like I'm never going to actually be able to, except on random occasions where I just happen to hit him at the right time. Oh my god, uh, where am I? Oh, like that was fair. Oh my god. You know, Fioshi fan, I was starting to really like this level and stuff, but now I want to kill you again. Oh my god, you have no idea how much I am hating Yoshi Fan right now, because my god. There were easier ways to make it so you can't hit this boss, but no, he had to go with the conventional method of putting two things that get in the way of what made this boss somewhat fun in the original game. Now, if I was typing on a keyboard, I would be doing my sentiments as the follows. ASDFJKL semi. <laughs> so... This stupid piece of crap boss... Which is stupid, and surprisingly, a piece of crap. With its additional fish, for literally no reason. And what may as well be figuratively no reason, either. And this just does not work out. Like, really, why would you design this? And of course, since I can't even aim half the time, but I still managed to hit him somehow because I managed to time it perfectly. I don't care, this is still a horrible boss design. I mean, honestly. 
I know, Yoshi's Island is not a hard game, but my god. It didn't have any of this bullcrap on the hard stages. This isn't fun. This is stupid. This is like the worst thing in the world. But not quite. Why did I not... <sighs> Those damn fish would just go away. God, about frickin' time! I've said it before, I'll say it again. I can't wait to see Raukow do this. Yeah, mock me with stupid 72. Thank you. 